So, you know, to remind you, SO3, we could get SO3 by picking X, Y, and Z axis and rotating around them. And once you pick an axis, then you're rotating in a plane, and we know how to rotate in planes. So, for example, you know, the new world rotation around Z axis by angle phi was cosine phi minus sine phi on the X and Y axis. But then don't touch Z and don't mix is a Z component because you are rotating in a plane that's orthogonal to the Z. And it's obvious then how Y and X work just by cyclic symmetry relabeling the axis. And then it's obvious how the J's work. And they have an I in them. And they're just infinitesimal version of this. So sine starts out proportional to the phi, and you don't generate anything here. So that was pretty obvious. But these guys don't commute, and the big deal was to discover that J and I'll, I'll use numbers because Levitchevita indices are nicer written in numbers. So by calculation, you verify that the commutator of these two generators is actually rotation around the third axis. By symmetry, you can just put ij gaze every place here. So there was SO3. For SU2, that was very much like working with as O2, but we allowed complex numbers, or just real ones, and that gave us three uh, generators. And you might want to call them S for spin, but in that case, I will just write the generator part, so thing that corresponds to this. For those, See, the Z guy is same like what we just wrote around when we were doing the two-dimensional case. So that's the same thing of how you make it Hermitian. And, and two more parallel matrices like that. And this was not some silly normalization. You know, you're acting on... Uh, on linear vector spaces. So if you multiply things by constants, everything is still okay. Uh, left and right side of linear equation can be multiplied by any constant. But this one was here really for a reason. And the reason was that unless we put a one half here, we would not get the same Lie algebra. So this is sort of forced on us by mathematics. I don't find this, you know, something I would have guessed or intuition. Because if you didn't have it here, we would have, you know, get an extra one half here. And that's silly because these guys have the same local structure. They have shared the same structure constants. So they are representations of the same group and you know, it's a matter of taste whether you call that group SU2 or SO3. You'll just have to prove that uh, both representations are included for both. But morally, the right thing is to say our world is actually not SO3 rotational, but SU2 rotational. Why is that? Because, as you will see, I can use this, or, you know, we have done already in various examples and problem sets. I can, from this matrix, construct this representation, but not vice versa. 
So this is a fundamental building block acting on two-dimensional complex vectors rather than three-dimensional real vectors is what our world is built from.